Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Charm YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk all about our latest project that we've just released, which is VHS. So for those of you who don't know what VHS is, it allows you to programmatically generate GIFs. Basically how VHS works is you create a tape file, which you tell it when to type, what to show, what not to show. You can have it demo all of your CLI projects or anything on the terminal, and it will create a GIF or a MOV or a whatever MP4 ASCII. It supports a bunch of different outputs based on the fact that it is FFmpeg under the hood. So without further ado, let's talk a little bit more about how you can actually use it. Alrighty, so here we are at the readme. Okay, github.com slash charm bracelet slash VHS, by the way. And here's the beautiful logo for it. And let's go through some of the commands. So there's some installation stuff. I'll show you how to install it as well. Let's start by installing TTYD and FFmpeg. If you run into the problem where your TTYD is not the right version after having just installed it, you might want to update your package manager. That happened to me a couple times. It made me realize that both my brew and APT were outdated. Let's talk a little bit about some of the basic VHS commands. So the output is something that you need to specify to have some kind of file output. So it can be uh, whatever file name you want, .gif, and then require is if there are any required programs for the tape file. And then you can also set recording settings. So you can set the font size, the theme, a bunch of different things like that, that are recording settings. And then you can have it type for you. We'll show you an example in a moment. And then you've got hide if there are some commands that you wanna run, but you wanna hide it from the output, you can totally do that. Hide is great for if you have some setup and teardown that you want to do during the recording. So for example, if you have a Go program that you want to demo and you basically want to build it first and then afterwards you want to delete the binary, you can do that with a hide command. It will hide the building process and then you'll be able to just run the binary and then at the end you can have it clean up. And then show is what will basically resume showing all of the commands and stuff like that to the output. Now that I've gone over that, I'm sure that's clear as mud and we can go right into some examples. Let's look at glow. There is a simple and a less simple example. So the glow simple basically allows you to, you just open up glow, you open up an, uh, the markdown file and then you kind of just toggle back to the menu and then exit glow. With sleep, you could make this pause for longer or for shorter. And so this is what that looks like, is basically we're having it output to both ASCII and GIF file formats. We are setting the width and setting the height of the output. And these are in pixels. And then we're getting it to type glow, which will start up glow. So what we could do is if we didn't want to assume that Glow was already installed on a machine, what you could do is you could use the hide directive and then install or build Glow. And then you would be able to kind of resume with this, these instructions, and then hide the uninstall or whatever you would like to do for cleanup at the end of that. But that is basically where you would probably want to use hide. And then here we're basically having it, we're, we're typing glow, we're hitting enter. So we're actually opening up the glow program. We're making it pause for a second before we do any other key presses. Make it pause for a second and then we hit enter. So we're going to just choose the first, we're going to just choose the uh, first markdown file that shows up. And then we have it sleep again and then we hit escape. So we go back to the list and then we have it sleep a second and then we type Q so that it quits glow. And that, that's that, that's, this is the whole gif. It's just beautiful. And then here we've got a much more complex example. So this one, Moss actually created to replicate the glow gift that we already had, like the existing one that we've had forever. So this one has a lot of cutscenes and things like that. So we've actually used the hide directive to create those cutscenes. 
So we'll take a look at what's going on there. As you can see, again, we are outputting to both GIF and ASCII formats. And then we we're setting the height and width. And then we're sleeping for one second so that they can just see the terminal prompt for a second there. And then we type glow. We pause for a tiny bit and then hit enter. And then we'll sleep one second. And then we create a cut scene so that it finds whatever has the word artichoke in it and then we scroll down a tiny bit and then we go back to showing the outputs again so we sleep for half a second we go down 20 and then do another jump cut and then we make it sleep for a second we adjust how quickly we go up so at 400 milliseconds per stroke and then so this is another jump scene where we're going to use ulysses ulysses mm-hmm we're going, we're going to that file and then we enter. So then we're, we're now in that file. We're going to sleep for half a second. We're going to scroll down at 200 milliseconds per keystroke and then another jump cut and then we sleep. And then here it's going to type each of these characters for 500 milliseconds per character typing to do. And so then we again do another jump cut and then sleep. And then here we're typing just a bunch of question marks and 750 milliseconds per question mark being typed. All right, another jump cut. And then we're sleeping. And then we type at a specific speed again. And another jump cut. And we're typing your new internet thing. And then control C is what you use to quick glow. So that's what's going on there. Let us know if you have any questions. I hope that this was clarifying for you. But that's just a little walkthrough on what you can do. This is probably the most complex example. This is what Moss told me that it was the most complex example is this glow one. So if it's a little bit confusing, bear with it. Check out some of the other examples as well. You can check out the bubble tea example, which I'll link in the description for a good example on showing that set up and tear down with uh, hide that I was talking about. And then this one, of course, with like, there's tons and tons of jump of like cutscenes. So that's another way that you can use hide and that you can see it implemented here in Glow. Got examples? Because we do. Okay. And Bubble Tea, we've got examples. We generated all of the GIFs on our Bubble Tea repo with VHS in secret. <laughs> Wrecked. So actually, you can see how we generated each of the GIFs that exist on our Bubble Tea repo. So lots of examples to go off of. And I hope that this was a nice little intro for you to VHS. Let us know what you think in the comments. Of course, it is linked to the description. Go give us a star if you like what we're doing. Also, feel free to um, join our Discord, okay? We got cool stuff happening there. All of our events are all published on the Discord and we got some really cool voice channels where we can listen to some great music. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye!